Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me on a brand new video. Today we're talking about some of the most long lasting fragrances for summertime. Okay, I'm talking about fresh scents that actually last on your skin, which is kind of hard to find. I'm not going to lie. A lot of fragrances just don't last when it comes to freshies and summer fragrances so i have myself a nice glass of rosé this is a portuguese wine that i have been drinking for the longest time like i love it um i will link it down below it's one of my favorite rosé wines and it's very nostalgic because it just reminds me of back home so get you something to drink because this is probably gonna be a long video i have a ton of fragrances that are for summertime that are really really perfect for summertime but so many of them don't last like I literally need to over spray and then top it out throughout the day but I wanted to give you guys a list of fragrances that actually last on me and I don't feel like I need to top it up throughout the day and they have beautiful sillage for the most part I have niche fragrances and I have some well a lot of designer fragrances actually I have a lot of designer fragrances so let's go ahead and talk about these scents and definitely leave your comments down below and let me know what is your go-to freshie that is long lasting okay beast mode so i'm gonna start off with a heavy hitter i'm just gonna go right there this is flora botanica from balenciaga honey everyone will smell you from a mile away this is a rose based fragrance it's very fresh light airy but she is potent Oh my God, there's something really special about this fragrance that almost gives me niche-like vibes. It's quite unique. I don't have anything in my collection that smells like this. There's a very sharp, spicy green tone to the scent, but definitely rosy, which gives it a little bit more of a feminine touch. It is gorgeous. It's clean, it's fresh, it's airy, very elegant also. It almost gives me the same feel as Creed Aventus for her, but a lot more affordable. So definitely get your hands on this if you want a very fresh floral green vibe um, when it comes to fragrances. It's almost like if you had a rose in your hand and it still had the green petals attached to it, this is what this fragrance reminds me of, but like a very wet rose. So the next fragrance, I'm taking it to a very classy, elegant, ladylike scent. This is J'adore from Dior. And I don't talk much about this fragrance, but it is a beauty of a scent, especially if you want to really exude a lot of class and elegance. This is a stunning scent. So J'adore is a floral fragrance, 100%. I believe there is Ylang Ylang in here. There is Jasmine and Rose. It's fresh, it's airy, it's very ladylike, and it's just stunning. It is definitely one of my most long-lasting fragrances when it comes to all of my Dior scents. It does not miss a mark. I guess quite a few compliments when I wear this one it's super wearable like you can pretty much wear it every day but when I am dressed up and I'm talking like an all-white outfit like dressy pants cute little heels a really nice top or like an all white flowy dress this scent just makes me feel super elegant and ladylike it is absolutely stunning gorgeous as like a Mother's Day gift and even though it is quite elegant and has a little bit more of a mature touch i can see a ton of different age groups loving this scent because it's so approachable and very wearable and best of all it is long lasting i feel like i don't need to over spray with this scent and i can get it to last all day long mind you my bottle is extremely old okay i don't know if this fragrance has been reformulated i've been meaning to get a brand new bottle of it because i'm almost out like look at this i am almost out of it but i just think this is such a classy elegant scent and if you love your floral fragrances definitely check this one out don't sleep on it taking it to the niche realm and we have dama bianca from jerzoff and this is their casa morati lineup this is 
gorgeous. Like I have already talked your ears off about this fragrance because I love it that much. It is a beautiful summer fragrance that has all the elements that I need in a summer scent. It is stunning, okay? This is definitely a vanilla based fragrance. There is beautiful notes in here, like in the opening, I believe there's lime, there's kumquat. The mid has a ton of different florals like jasmine. And then in the base is where we get that beautiful vanilla, the woodsy note in here, there's white musk, and it just is a creamy, delicious fragrance that smells so, so good. This is not super gourmand in my opinion. It's just more of like an elevated, fresh vanilla scent that has a little bit of a bright citrusy background in there. Oh my God. Every time I smell this, I'm like, oh, douse me in this fragrance. It lasts really well on me, but I definitely overspray. Once I overspray with it, it is there all day long, leaves a gorgeous sillage, and also it clings onto my clothes like no other. Like for the most part, I spray this one on my clothes because I want it to last all day long. And it's just, oh, it's so beautiful. It's so fresh and it's so wearable. It is a beautiful, beautiful scent. I love wearing this any time of the day, really any sort of occasion it really does go i don't feel like i need to be super dressed up to wear this one it's non-offensive in my opinion it's actually quite a pleasant scent to wear and be around and it's just uh it's one of my favorites right now i really really love this one it sort of reminded me of nishani um, I need that fragrance, but between the two, I definitely love this one more. It has more of a creamier blend and the vanilla is really beautiful in this scent. So if you love your vanillas that have a little bit more of a citrusy background in there, a little bit more musky and woody in the dry down, this is a must have. It's Dama Bianca and I just love, love the name. The bottle is beautiful. I love this frosted glass look and the color scheme is everything to me so sticking to the niche world we're going on to a fragrance that i have been talking about a lot also and i'm just like captivated this is definitely 10 out of 10 for me it's always going to be in my collection and i'm really scared that i'm going to run out of this very very soon this is creed's aventus for her honey fresh elegant luxurious rich vibes okay hot girl summer is in a bottle right over here this is just stunning and look at the dent that i have on this bottle do you guys see that dent it is quite scary and i just love this fragrance from the bottle the presentation the smell it is everything this one as well as um dama bianca are available on twisted lily you guys know that i work with them a lot i absolutely love the website their team they're amazing so definitely check out that website if you want to get some niche fragrances i do have a discount code which is karina 10 get your 10 percent off girl on those niche fragrances so check them out and they have a bunch of different samples that you can actually try out before committing to a full bottle i will link it down below but aventus for her honestly is one of my if not actually my favorite fresh scent that's a big statement okay this opens up bright fresh citrusy there's green apple there's bergamot there's patchouli in here so it is definitely like green in the opening in the mid we have rose which mellows it out and then in the base we have black currant there's peach in here i believe there's ylang in here it is so beautiful it's a floral fruity woody fragrance it has some depth to it some character to it it smells so luxurious and elegant this leaves a gorgeous trail, a gorgeous trail, and I've received so many compliments with this scent. Like if you just want that number one fresh fragrance for your summertime vibes, this is it in a bottle. It like makes me feel like I'm literally in a gorgeous bathing suit on a yacht, just sunbathing away. Mm, that peach note really pushes through and I love that I can get that green apple in the opening but the base notes are really what do it for me it just is stunning it's feminine but without it being sweet 
So if you don't like super sweet fragrances, this is a perfect one. It's just very feminine and elegant. Oh, it's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. They did a fantastic job. Definitely, definitely a summertime fragrance. Next up, I have a designer and this is from Hermes. This is Twilly d'Hermes and this is the flanker, not the original one. This scent is another very elegant, elevated fragrance. It's so underrated, I find. Well, I'm starting to see more and more people talk about this. Oh my gosh, there is this kick of spiciness in there. I believe there's pink pepper, patchouli, and rose in terms of the notes that they share online. I feel like there is way more to this scent. It is, to me, it smells like a fruity floral fragrance that's spicy, woody, and a little bit dry. It is a little bit dry. It's not a juicy, juicy fragrance. It's a little bit dry. There's not much sweetness to this scent, but it definitely gives me feminine vibes, just like Creed Aventus for her. Like these two really are very, very <laughs> reminiscent of how I feel when I wear them. So if this is a little bit too pricey for you, honey, get this one over here you're not going to be disappointed it's just very elegant it smells very lavish very luxe and put together oh you have to like pink pepper you're you're definitely going to get a lot of that in this fragrance a lot of spiciness in this fragrance and to me this one carries through that spiciness throughout the entire time that you are wearing this fragrance so that's why i say you have to like a little bit more of a spicy fragrance but it's just so elegant I love wearing this when I have an occasion or a date night or even in a lunch out and I'm dressed a little bit more appropriate for that. I think that it's just an, a fragrance that looks or not looks, wears best when I'm a little bit more dressed up rather than super casual. It's just, it's gorgeous. So we are going to talk about one of my favorite houses and that is Tom Ford, okay? How can I do a video without mentioning Mr. Tom Ford? This is Tobacco Vanille, and for me, this is an all year round type of fragrance. You can definitely pull this off in the winter time. I wore it so much, but in the summertime, it also smells incredible. And to me, Tobacco Vanille is one of those fragrances that actually lasts on me. There are quite a few Tom Fords that are not super long lasting, but Tobacco Vanille, is a beauty. I have been talking for 20 minutes. Let's just take a sip because your girl can go on about fragrance. So tobacco vanille, let's get back into these fragrances. This is just love at first sniff 100%. I, oh, that vanilla. It's creamy, it's lavish, it is potent. It gives me a little bit of a gourmand vibe in this fragrance, like I get a bit of a chocolatey vibe. It has a tobacco note in there that's actually very, very wearable and approachable. It's not too masculine, it's not too deep. It's actually really beautifully blended with all of the other notes. To me, I don't feel like it's heavy on that note, which is great, okay? I don't like something super heavy on that tobacco note. Uh, but the vanilla in here is like a double, triple dose of vanilla. Love the atomizer on this one also. Mmm. Oh, I love tobacco vanilla. She's sexy. She's sensual. She's a little flirty, sweet, vanilla-based, creamy. It's just goodness in a bottle. This will definitely, definitely get you compliments. Like 100% compliments from strangers, from people you're around, date night honey first date wear this okay this is stunning and i just think I, I really like tom ford fragrances i really really do they're getting pricey they're getting really pricey but i really enjoy them next fragrance that i have is from mancera and this is instant crush this is a fragrance again that i think you can wear pretty much all year round it's not just applicable for summer but when i tell you beast mode of a fragrance i am not joking this is heavy duty okay this fragrance will last literally for days and days and days and you have to go super light-handed with this one because it will overpower everything. Next up, we have Chloe Nomad, and this is such a special scent to me. I have so many amazing memories with this one, but 
I think that it is just beautiful. It's very, very unique when you smell all of the other Chloe fragrances. This is so different and elevated, very elegant and luxe. To me, it's a floral fragrance, but with a bit more of an earthy, woody, musky dry down. It has oak moss in here, which really stands out, but it gives it a lot of depth and character. And I just think it's so stunning. Oh my God, the way this smells is everything. It's just so lavish. Like, oh, there's a bit of this sweetness in there also. I don't know if there's vanilla, I can't remember, but there's a bit of this sweetness in this fragrance that really, really gets me and adds a bit of a feminine touch, but it's not super sweet. It's just a gentle sweetness. It is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. If you haven't tried Chloe Nomad, definitely try it out. It is so beautiful, easily accessible, which I love, but definitely a unique scent that doesn't really smell like all the other designer fragrances. It really does stand alone. Next up, we have Giorgio Armani's My Way. I had to include this scent because I love it so much. And I think that this is one that really lasts so well on me. It's actually surprising. I will say in the winter time, this lasts a little bit longer than during the summertime, but it's still when I compare it to other designer fragrances, this one lasts a really great amount of time on my skin and on my clothes, ooh, forever. This to me is a white floral fragrance. It has a beautiful dose of vanilla in here that you will definitely get in the dry down. Not so much in the opening, but once it dries down, give it about half an hour, that's when that vanilla really starts to shine through and it just smells so delicious and incredible. It's definitely a sweet fragrance. So if you love your C from Armani, your C Fiore, that type of scent, you will enjoy this one. If you like uh, Flower Bomb from Victor and Ralph, you will enjoy it my way. But something about this just makes me smile and happy. It smells very feminine and girly. Again, it has a beautiful sweetness and it's just a lovely scent. Like it really is lovely and beautiful. It's fresh, it's clean, like a bit of a soapy clean vibe. The floral notes in here are gorgeous. I believe there's jasmine in here also because I'm picking up some jasmine in here and it's just bright and fresh and floral, but like floral done in the right way. There's a little bit more character to it. It's not just a wet rose. There's a bit more element to this one. And the vanilla is just stunning. It's not too deep. It's not too heavy. It's like a great dose of vanilla in here. Again, in the dry down is where you're going to get it. And I just think this is a beautiful launch from Armani. They just, they do fantastic fragrances. I'm not going to lie. But My Way is a beautiful one. If you haven't tried it, definitely try it. If you have, let me know. Um, I know a ton of people who absolutely love it. I think it's gorgeous. And again, it's one that's going to last you a really, really long time throughout the entire day. Next up, I have Byredo's Bal d'Afrique. And this is a scent that will get you compliments, will get you questions because it's very, very unique. It's almost kind of hard to describe sometimes also. It's like a musky, woody fragrance, but still quite fresh in the opening. And even in the dry down, there's like a fresh element to it but it smells so different. I really have a hard time describing this one. I just know that it smells really, really good. It's one that I can wear pretty much with any occasion. I've worn this when I used to work in retail a lot and I got tons of compliments and questions on this one. Leaves a gorgeous sillage, but ultimately what you're gonna get in the dry down is more of like this white musky vibe, but maybe like a bit of a sandalwood vibe also, like a woody, soft woody dry down is this one over here. So if you don't like your traditional fragrances that are very floral maybe try this one it is very unique if you love like sandalwood musky vibes without it going too heavy in that realm try this one it is completely unisex so a male can definitely pull this off 100 percent because it really doesn't lean too feminine or too masculine it's right there in between where anyone can wear this scent and feel very comfortable um i just know that it smells good and i get so many questions on it Oh yeah, the opening is more of a fresh, bright opening, a little citrus tone, 
but almost instantly it dries down to this like sandalwoody musky vibe i don't know what else is in here but just me smelling it, that's the vibe that I get. And it's just absolutely beautiful and very, very unique. So if you are into the very, very sweet fragrances and you just want it to last, you want something very feminine, Flower Bomb by Victor and Ralph, you just cannot go wrong with this one. Um, I will say there's quite a bit of patchouli in this fragrance. Uh, think of like Angel from Mugler. There's quite a bit of patchouli, but it's still very beautiful and it's just a cult favorite for a reason. Definitely sweet, floral, vanilla-esque with a dose of patchouli. It is very, very, very long lasting and quite potent in my opinion. You don't need to like go super heavy when spraying this one. And it's a very feminine because of that sweet element in this fragrance. So if you've never tried it, which I'd be pretty surprised, a ton of people have already tried Flower Rom. It's been around for a really, really, really long time. But again, I have to warn you, this is a sweet bomb, okay? It is heavy on the sweetness. It's obviously very floral also. And that patchouli is quite prominent, but I think it just gives it a little bit more oomph to this fragrance. So it's not just sugar in your face. There's a little bit more oomph with that patchouli and it's a little juicy also. It's a little juicy. So I think it's just gorgeous for summertime. I actually pulled this out and put it on my vanity so I could get a little bit more wear out of it because I haven't worn it in quite a long time. But if you're looking for a sweet floral feminine fragrance with a hit of patchouli that is long lasting you can't go wrong with victor and ralph flower bomb next up we have the very famous and popular baccarat rouge 540 from mfk i had to mention it like i have not talked about her in a very long time and yes i call my fragrances her there's no reasoning behind it that's just my vocabulary and how things come out i know a lot of people ask me why there is no why but this fragrance over here i mean she's very 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 popular for a reason it's good it is just good and it smells gorgeous and unique on everyone that wears it and it's very long lasting but i will say a lot of people go nose blind with this fragrance others around you will smell it but yourself you might not be able to smell it throughout the day you will get little whiffs here and there but you won't necessarily smell it all day long. But trust me, it is there. Others are smelling it. And it is just a beautiful fragrance that wears stunning and gets you compliments. It's beautiful layered with other fragrances. It's just one of a kind. And it really does play up with your personality and your chemistry somehow. And so some people get a very sweet cotton candy vibe while others get this very like salty water vibe. So that's the uniqueness of being 540 it is just like no other scent it truly is magic in a bottle there is the X straight version which i really want in my collection but i just have this one to me i get more of a salty water vibe with a sweet element but it's not cotton candy sweet to me it is such a unique scent that i really can pinpoint all the notes in here really really can like even when i go and read up the notes I don't get that in this fragrance. It gives me more of a vibe. It's luxurious, it's lavish, it's elegant, it's just one of a kind. Okay, so last but not least, this is a combo that I have been wearing for the last couple of weeks and I think I just nailed it. I really, really do. This is Parfums de Marly, Meliora, and Sudbury. Oh, oh, oh. Alone, they are both very unique and beautiful. Meliora is going to give you that tropical, fruity vibe. Think of like watermelons and pineapples. This is what this reminds me of, like a juicy, fruity cocktail on a summer day. While Sudbury is your elegant, sophisticated, white floral, mature lady. She does not play, okay? She has everything together. She is super luxe. But together, honey, it's just like summer vibes in a bottle. I love them layered together because you get both elements and this just adds a little bit more casual and playful nature to Sudbury. And I think they just smell so good together. I sprayed it today 
and I was like, oh, I have to mention it on my channel. So if you already own both of these, layer them. You won't be disappointed. It really just kind of tones down the maturity level in the scent because she is quite mature. I won't lie, but I still love her. Um, and just adds a little bit more freshness and flirtiness to this scent. So if you already own these, layer them let me know in the comment section how you feel i think that they work beautifully especially on a really hot day sometimes sudbury i can't really pull it off but when i layer it with meliora oh my goodness it's like heavenly so guys that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and saw something new and cool today hopefully you got through the entire thing because i know this is going to be a long one okay i hope you enjoyed it and all of the links to the fragrances that i talk about as well as my discount code with twisted lily will be down in the description bar so check it out there don't forget to leave a comment down below share this video with anyone that loves to smell absolutely gorgeous subscribe if you haven't already and you've reached the end of this video you might as well subscribe and i will see you all on the next video ciao